than, for example, lunar eclipses. What's a lunar eclipse? If your face is the brilliant sun. Thank you. <laughs> and this is Earth, mm -hmm. and the moon is over here. The sun is always casting Earth's shadow into space. It's always there no matter what. Right. Obviously, okay? It's just a shadow. It's a shadow. The moon it's occasionally... It's just a shadow shining on blackness. Uh, yeah, a shadow in darkness. It's a shadow in darkness. So, so the moon occasionally passes through that shadow. And if you see the shape of Earth's shadow on the moon, it is always round. Always round. If Earth were flat, sometimes you get like a flat shadow. Right. And we've never seen a flat shadow. Right. In fact, it is a segment of a arc of a circle no matter the orientation of the moon and the sun. And the only thing that makes a perfectly circular shadow would be something that's perfectly circular. Uh, perfectly spherical. Spherical, right. yes. So the only thing that makes a perfect circle shadow every single time is a perfect sphere. Right. Okay? So, um, so, so you spin, you know, when you spin pizza dough, it kind of flattens out. Yeah. It gets wider in the middle. And so Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning. And it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere. It's, an, it's oblate. And officially, it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby is a good way. It's like pear-shaped. Pear-shaped, pear-shaped, pear-shaped. Oh, cock-a-doodle-doo, Neil! <laughs> what are you talking about?